M20 Fitness is built on 20 movements that are great for your body's health. So let's talk about number 15, the tennis ball bounce. I actually really enjoy doing this one a lot. It's all about hand-eye coordination, something we often overlook, but it's worth spending a little bit of time on. So level one involves one tennis ball. You're standing with your feet shoulder width apart, and you're gonna throw the ball down with one hand, catch it with both for a rep. Now alternate your throwing hands, so throw it with the other hand, catch it with both for your second rep, and so forth. So that's level one. Level two involves two balls. We're upping the ante a little bit. So I'm gonna pick up the second ball here, and I have one in each hand. And what I'm gonna do is alternate, where I'm throwing and catching with that hand. So that's one rep, two reps, three reps, and so forth. Now if I accidentally drop the ball, which tends to happen, um, it's important you make sure you pick this ball up in proper form. I don't want to see you just bend over with your legs locked and put strain on that lower back. Stand over the ball, lower your body, body properly, pick it up, and then you can keep going. Level three takes it to a whole nother level. We're going to go horizontal now. So standing a few feet away from a wall, a ball in each hand, you're going to alternate throwing and catching against the wall really dials up the hand-eye coordination quite a bit, but as you get good at it, you can try and increase your speed. So scoring the tennis ball bounce. You're gonna try and get as many reps as you can in two minutes. Like all the other movements, it doesn't matter where you start, your first score is just a benchmark, and you start making progress from there. So you're ready for the tennis ball bounce when it shows up in your next movement plan, and I know you'll really enjoy this one. It's a fun one. Keep moving.